All right, what's going on, everybody? Sonny here, Strength by Sonny, author of Instagods, here with my good friend, J-Molf. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on these live programs that we are running. So we're at the halfway mark right now. Um, so far, we've ran three programs. We did a New York City one, we did a DC one, we just finished up a Toronto one. These programs have been a massive success. We've gotten students' results um, in many different areas. Um, we have three programs left. We'll get into the details on those in a little bit. Um, but just to recap, um, Jamal, what are some of the things that, uh, that you've noticed on these programs? What are some of the important things um, they should know, especially from a results standpoint? So yeah, like, uh, we had an assistant in uh, Washington, D.C., a uh, guy that's filmed about 300 chicks. We've been, we've been friends with him for about six years, and he assisted on an RSD program two weeks before we got to town. On that program, it was RSD Tyler, uh, RSD Luke, and RSD Mays, the, the new guy that's been helping with RSD. Fifteen students, uh, zero pulls, which means zero times taking chicks home from the club mm -hmm. and zero lays by the students zero and it was a lot of woo woo bs um you know uh, that guy that assisted us he's friends with the rc guys too but he you know he was straight up he's like nobody got any results a lot of woo woo bs and that's that's been the story year after year with with rsd so and you know not, what now those guys all need to take another program so that's good for them um in contrast we came to DC. Uh, we had a guy, particular guy that I'm going to mention here. He flew in from Canada, I think Quebec City. So he flew to Washington DC. Uh, he came on the program in 19 lays, and I'll probably post up the review somewhere here, <clears throat> so you can see it on the screen. Um, but basically, he came on 19 lays. He had never pulled from night game before, so he had never taken a chick home from cold approach from the bar of the club. And he did it all three nights on our program and got laid all three nights on our program. So that's his guy. It's never, ever pulled. Um, he was about 24 years old. And pulled and closed all three nights. And what we've found is, is the people have been taking our programs that have taken boot camps with other companies, not even just RST, but other pickup companies. We said, you know, you've taken these, these other programs. Did they give you a method for how to do this? And they always say no. So they don't know what to do when they're in the nightclub. Whereas our program is very, very, very specific on the method. So do you want me to cover like a high level overview? The actual method when you're going out and about? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I, I think it's something, you know, you don't have to go into um, all the details, but I think it's something that a lot of guys, uh, just as they see that there is, even if strategy. We, people, yeah, there is some sort of strategy behind this. Yeah, and, and teachable strategy more so. Yeah, so basically, um, from a high level, what we instruct the guys to do is you make a binary decision. If the girl's over your attractiveness threshold, like would you fuck the girl or would you not? Mm -hmm. You approach instantly. Um, we have a bunch of principles for opening. I won't go into those. After that, you're looking to isolate within the first couple of minutes. Isolate them, the girl to the bar. It removes her from the friends. It also allows you to get into a more intimate setting so you can go into escalation, physical escalation. You're also escalating verbally, making sexual innuendos, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so then from there, you're suggesting that you guys should go back to your place. You're trying to get her out of there. She's going to give you, well, I've identified a series of 14 main objections. I have the guys memorize the optimal answers for all those, just like in sales, like in Wolf of Wall Street. And they memorize those, so then those come up. She's gonna give a series of objections. They know how to answer those. And they're also determining her logistical situation from the very beginning to find out what they're dealing with in terms of what is the likelihood they're gonna be able to take that girl out of there. And then, other than that, they're making a real-time probabilistic assessment to determine, is does this girl have logistics that are probabilistic enough to beat? And there's new information always coming in. And it's her general compliance level, which translates into like DTFness or down to fuck level, mm -hmm. um, adequate enough. And is the set going to take too much time? And then you make a subjective assessment based on that. And the rest of the time, you are getting phone numbers and framing those for meetups. And then during the week, you're scheduling a whole bunch of dates for meetups. Mm -hmm. So that's night game in a nutshell. And then we do day game also. I won't, there's minor adjustments we made for that. The strategy is largely the same. Mm -hmm. um, there's less physical escalation during the daytime. Usually 
the set is moving, the girl is moving, she have to, we teach them how to stop on moving set. And usually she's on her way to do something, so you have to determine logistics faster and the sets are generally shorter and more compressed. Um, we also teach them how to game hired guns. Um, we take them to the strip club, teach them how to pick up strippers, how to pick up bartenders and waitresses. Um, do you want to go over the stuff that you're covering on the program? Well, real quick, I, one question to answer. Um, because I actually I like this term. He started using this term recently, real-time probabilistic assessment. Mm -hmm. Maybe just go into detail with that real quick, because I really like that. I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, as, as new information is coming in, so like... From the chick. Yeah, so you're asking like logistics questions. Who are you here with? What are you doing mm -hmm. after this? How far away do you live? What are you doing in the morning? Um, how big is your group? How do you all know each other? Mm -hmm. That's going to determine basically like what you're dealing with, the particular situation, and then... DTF level, which is her general compliance level. So like when you ask her to go to the bar, does she come right away? When you try to open, does she open receptively? When you go for physical escalation, is she receptive to that? And that can change in real time based on her attractiveness to you. And, you know, you might look like a fool at some point or whatever, and she loses attractiveness or whatever. But you're gauging, like that's, that's your criteria for if you're staying in the set or not. Because you're battling against time. Mm -hmm. That's the commodity. And we teach these guys to be as effective and efficient as possible. Yeah. So um, I think the guy from Canada, his, um, his three polls, one was in 15 minutes, one was in 30, one was in 45. It wasn't in that order, but those were the three durations. But typically you're going to be polling within 20 to 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, and then we teach them the exact text to send uh, to meet, get dates or meetups for dates. And then you know, what to do on the date. And most of your clothes, as I've said in my other videos, are going to come from dates because, you know, if you meet 10 girls in a night, you can only take home one of them. The rest of them are just going to be leads you have to work. Um, yeah, do you want to cover the stuff that, that yeah. you're going to? Yeah, so obviously, um, you know, you guys know by now, j um just his bed of knowledge that he has to offer, um, specifically on the dating stuff. Myself as well, but just the dating stuff in general, um, there really isn't. Um, another coach or company or team out there that offers um, the type of insight, especially at this level, this level putting the odds in your favor. But speaking of putting in the, the odds in your favor, um, that's where you know my primary focus tends to come in. You know, maximizing, uh, maximizing your personal brand, becoming as va becoming as much of a high value man as possible. Those are things that um, you know I work with each student one one on one throughout the duration of the program. Um, you know, there's pretty much a habit now. The last day of program. I take each student aside, whether it be lunch or grabbing a drink somewhere, having a, a um, you know, a long heart-to-heart -heart conversation on, okay, you need to do, like, no bullshit, you need to do this, this, and this, you need to fix this with your looks, you need to fix this with your styles, you need to fix this with your overall vibe and approach when you're talking to chicks, or even just society in general, um, you know, so every, basically, I, I, I approach the table um, with this mindset that every man is a personal brand competing in the business of people. Um, I can I can assess that very fast. Um, society at large can assess that very fast, and you know part of that, you know, if you're a client on this, part of that is honesty, being completely honest with you, because honesty is how you're going to get results. Um, giving you honest feedback, no bullshit feedback, um, telling you what you need to fix, um, how you can fix it, and and where where to go moving forward. Um, so personal branding, um, because when you think about it. Um, you are, you know, people say don't judge a book by its cover, um, but you are. You're being judged. You're, you're selling yourself to the world. That's what you're doing. You're selling yourself to, you know, your fellow peers, you know, other guys. You're selling yourself to women. You're selling yourself to society at large. Um, what Jay Mulvey and I are doing, you know, we're teaming up to help you put, help you put the, uh, uh, the best foot forward. Uh, teaming up to uh, not only make you the most high-valued man possible, but also utilize that in um with the specific strategies that he tends to focus on make it the high, high highest value man possible so that you can get the cool friends that you want and of course you know what's everyone doing this for get the high quality chicks that you want in your life and that's you know that's really what differentiates us from everyone else this isn't the um this isn't the 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 feel good you know let's just go out and about and make you feel good program this is the what do I have? This this is the do A B C to get the results that you want. This is what you do. You know you want hot chicks in your life. Okay, well listen to us. This is what you do step by step. All right. You want to enhance that brand so that while you're doing the the technical pickup stuff, okay. 
you need to improve this, this, and this with your overall looks, your overall vibe. Combine that together. This is how you become, this is how you slay the game. That's that's what we're working with here. We're not trying to, uh, like I said, we're not trying to, um, we're not trying to bullshit anyone here. We are trying to get do everything possible to get you the results that you want. And like I said, we've done, um, we've completed three programs so far. Um, these have been massively successful. We've gotten a lot of results for a lot of guys. Um, and we got three more programs. So Jamo, three programs, what's going on with those, brother? All right, so we have uh, San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, May 17th through 19th. Yeah. Um, there's one spot left on there. Mm -hmm. um, we have San Francisco the week after, Memorial Day weekend, May 24th through the 26th. Uh, there's two spots left on that and then the following weekend which is our last program that's back on the East Coast We have New York City and there's one spot left on that. We just had a guy take one of the final two spots today. Mm -hmm. so um, If you are interested email us uh, EP dating coach at gmail.com or sunny at gmail.com mm -hmm. We'll have a call with you we'll go over the details go over the pricing um, but this really was built to be a permanent and final solution, um, the last and only training you need yeah. to master this. Um, one other thing to mention that I thought of when you were talking is uh, we had a guy that he's been with, uh, what, just on the last program, he's only been with one chick, and it was like a, yeah, you know, yeah, paid situation. So, you know, I won't say his name, obviously, um, but this guy had never gotten much uh, results from cold approach and he had quit game before prior to taking our program he had just kind of given up due to frustration mm -hmm. and we both uh, pulled him aside one-on-one -on, -one on the final day and uh, you know really I you know I've had students similar to this before and mm -hmm. Sonny was straight up about what he needs to fix and he was a changed man that night he legitimately um, got really solid numbers off two separate nines like nine out of tens. Mm -hmm. um, we are we were at the biggest venue in in Toronto, so it was like very difficult to pull. But I was with him at like five in the morning, and the chick was texting him trying to meet up. So that is going to change his life. Just he he was his own worst enemy in his head, and uh, you know we broke him out of that and showed him what was possible. And he just he just went for it on the on the third night and and saw how much different it could be. How you know how much different life can be. So. We're really trying to make a big qualitative impact that's going to be like a lifelong impact. Mm -hmm. um, these are the last three programs we're doing. So, you know, a lot, a lot of guys have hit us up. They're like, oh, I want to do one late in the year, whatever. We're not actively scheduling out for the whole year. This was like a limited run that we're doing. Um, it's been a big success so far, and we're basically at the halfway point now. So we've got three left. Um, so if you are interested, contact us ASAP. Um, if you have any questions, we can answer them. Mm -hmm. We are the two best guys to learn from with this, and, th and this goes beyond pickup too, um, into the areas that, that he talked about. We even take the, st the students to the gym on Saturday. Sonny goes over. Uh, did you want to talk about that mm -hmm. at all? I was just yeah. I, I figured uh, you know we pretty much covered everything here. Basically, yeah. Three programs left. Um, you know, we went through the dates, went over the logistics. If you want to contact us, you know, by all means, contact us. EPDatingCoach at gmail .com. Contact me at sunny.orvado.com, at sunny.orvado at gmail.com. But basically, at the end of the day, if you want to learn how to consistently get laid with hot chicks, uh, get jacked and feel more confident about yourself, and overall just become the dominant force in life that you always wanted to be, this is the program to take. We have three programs left. We're at the halfway point. we got three weeks left of this. Dates and details will be in the description. Um, if you really want to, if you really truly want those things, contact us. We will go over the details. We will go over um, these programs in greater detail with you. Um, and that's it. Just looking forward to hearing from more people, and we will talk to you soon. Yeah, four spots, guys. So yep. it's first come, first serve. So mm -hmm. just hit us up, and uh, hopefully we can uh, help you change your life. Definitely. All right, take care, guys. Later.